this is the pinnacle of all the dangerous game hunting. These are great trackers. I feel very confident that we're going to have a great hunt. I'm sure that I'm going to get my bull. In the Zambezi Valley, it's a very good buffalo and elephant area. Um, in fact, it's a very good dangerous game area. Look at that buffalo in the front there. Look how wide he is. That one's got an unbelievable spread. He's got his head down low. I say something here, but he's not quite sure what. He's looking straight at us. I'm on him. Okay, don't do anything until you get a clear shot. It's too thick in here. Make sure your first shot counts. Nobody wants to track a wounded buffalo in this stuff. It's so darn thick, you're not going to get a clear shot. This wind is just swirling. As soon as they catch your scent, thank God. There's a lot of stories in these books about guys that didn't make the proper shot, and a lot of them came back in a box. No. No. Not the very back on the left. You see how big his body is? He's a tank. Big body. Wait for him to turn sideways. He'll Hopefully he'll turn sideways. He's looking right at us. I think he sees yeah, us. Yeah, I think we've bust. Yep. Okay, have you got a shot at his chest? I can take him straight on. Okay. When you're ready, I'm ready. Here we go. Wait, wait, wait. Buffalo's not bleeding. There's no blood. And it's gone into the herd. I think a lot of things go wrong in the heat of the moment. Guys are tired, they've pushed themselves too hard. Now we got a situation. We got a wounded Cape buffalo and they're extremely deadly. Uh, and I feel bad. I don't normally shoot like that. The block shot has gone high and right passing between the buffalo's shoulder blade and its ribs. A shot like this misses the vital organs and breaks none of the large bones, letting the buffalo stay on its feet and keep moving. Because of a misplaced shot, I have put a tracker's life, a PH's life, and my own life in jeopardy. This is a thing where you can die. I don't want to be in the situation. The situation is the way it is, and we have to take care of it. Like they say back in Colorado, you got to cowboy up. So we're going to try to cowboy up and keep going. The snake lies behind me. It's so thick in here. You can literally bump into one of them. A lot of guys have done that and gotten killed. I've read stories about that. Never could believe it. Well, I believe it now. It's a tiny bit of blood. When you track a wounded animal like that, I never rush. I take my time. I try and think about things before they happen. It's the second time he's been waiting for us. So he's going to charge us. He's going to charge us. If you see him, pop him. Yeah. Hit him. Steve. Steve. Here he comes. Shoot him. Put one more into his chest.
Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Well that done. was exciting, huh? <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> was a pretty close charge. It was a thick cover. And you don't always walk away from this. Um, we walked away from this one. And the minute that I stepped up to the long side of Zane, all of a sudden the buffalo sauce and charge, less than 12 steps. I mean, things slow down in your brain, and it looks like it's slow motion, but it's actually going at warp speed. My gun came up, I covered its head, and I pulled the trigger, and luckily, at four steps, I was able to kill this buffalo on a full charge.